guys, I'm joined by these two protesters right now who are out here tonight at the Rhode Island State House. I want to just talk to you guys. We got a group of friends here together. I want to talk to you guys about what today was like. This afternoon, I think, is it's a welcome afternoon for people here in Providence. What was it like for all of you to be out here? Um, to be honest, I came out here to have a speech about what happened uh, a few days ago. So, um, my name is Terrell Pachi. I am a 23 year old. Uh, and I am a prominent firefighter, and I have been a firefighter for three years. I was initially signed to Messer Street, and now I've been at Broad Street for a couple of years. The other day, I was outside the fire station with my friend. She was dropping off food, and we were talking. And at approximately around 11.30 a.m., I mean 11.30 p.m., two cops converged on the, on the car. I was dressed in full uniform, and I had my radio on and in hand. Both officers get, got, out the, got out the vehicle immediately and drew their, drew their guns. The officer on the driver's side started screaming, where's the gun? Is there a gun? Where's their gun? And I was like, I'm a firefighter. I'm PFD, I'm one of you. I'm a firefighter. And they still kept approaching the vehicle, guns drawn, as I attempted to exit the vehicle, the officer yelled to get back in. And I continued to exit the vehicle. And I was pledging, I'm a firefighter. I'm one of you. Don't shoot. It's obviously this is an emotional moment. The white cop then asked again, after identifying me as a promised firefighter, is there a gun in the vehicle? And I said, I'm not allowed to carry a firearm while I'm on duty. I'm an essential worker, and I'm not breaking curfew. As the white cop saw what was progressing, he told the black cop to move on and get out the way. The black cop left hastily, and as I watched, a third patrol car left the scene. <laughs> 